Hello everyone and welcome back to Library of Runia. We have just set up Gisad's people to beat up a singing machine, which apparently is way stronger than you would think. I mean, this might have been a wall. Cannot be targeted, doesn't act, but on the scene after I crave that melody is activated, plays music using the character in the machine. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's awful. During the third scene, every four scenes, it gets more powerful. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, everyone, how about you all focus on one? Just thinking about the song. Stay sharp. Don't let it lure you. Trust me, I don't want to let it. Yeah, everyone, just focus on the middle one for now. If we can kill even one before they can start messing with us, that's fantastic. Because these things are going to be problematic, I imagine. Okay, we managed to deal 40 to one of them. Unfortunately, we need to do way more than just 40. Let's burn it alive. That might help. I think you're the one who benefits most from burning them. Here you go. Both of these will help you draw. Okay. Then use them and draw. Ineffective. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't matter to me that it's ineffective. I'll still kill you all the same. Blocked. Ouch. What do we have here? I don't think I have a lot of blunt, though. Ooh, okay. You take it. Shoot, now they get to be more brutal. Well, I think the one in the middle here is about to die. Which means you can all start focusing on someone else. Oh dear gosh. Do I have a way to block that? I think it's very important I block that. Okay, wait, wait. Use this. You're not. Oh no. Yeah, um... I, I think that's very uncomfortable. How about you don't? Okay. You see, let me, I'm, oh, look, hear me out here. No, don't do that. Okay, here we go, everyone. Try not to die if you can. Yeah, you pine for the song. Did you just get killed? No, but we did kill one of them. Is anyone within the machine? There you go. This is quite unpleasant. Everyone overwhelm the bottom enemy. That's what I'm thinking. Let's just do two appetites. 
seven. One, two, three. One, two, dead. But you were staggered, weren't you? No mercy. That probably was traumatizing what happened to you there. Yes, collide with them and also troll. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. One, two. Okay. I think this is probably the end for you. Let's see the secret weapon. Because I'm going to overpower you right there. Hit you with two flashes of movement. And I suppose spear you. I don't think there's a way for you to survive all this. Correct me if I'm wrong. And victory. Just nuts. Okay, so I think that went well. Hey yo, got your books. I'll just leave them here and go before Mr. Viper bites my butt. Who told you that? Told me what? What are we going to argue about this time? You referred to me as a viper just a moment ago. Well, I called you that because you like to spit venom at others, that sharp look. You know, there's one guy I used to know who's kind of like you. He's nicknamed the Viper. That's funny, I was also nicknamed as such a long time ago. See? People all think in similar ways. You're a bit milder than that guy, though. Is that supposed to be a compliment or an insult? More of a compliment. In any case, you're uptight at heart. There's a time where I would pressure myself and others with a... a paranodial obsession to order. Back in Lobotomy Corp? Correct. Back then, even a small mistake could lead to substantial casualties. It doesn't hurt to be strict when caution is needed. I wanted to remain level-headed at all times, so I tried to conceal all my emotions, even when I felt anger or sadness, so I treat others in a frigid manner under the pretext of rules and discipline. Is that why you're so cold to me as well? No, it's the opposite, in fact. I'm upset at your compliance with Angela precisely because I cannot stand to tolerate what we're doing with a cool head. My first slice is a person named Gabriel. I wanted to make the world a better place. I wanted to make technological advancement... I wished technological advancement would bring comfort to people. But look at what we've gotten into. In Lobotomy Corporation, we turn people into abnormalities and sacrifice even more people to the abnormalities, all to generate energy as part of our singularity. Hey, you saw it in everyone's defense. I, for most of the game, up until the very end, only sacrificed random clerks. Then at the end, I just, I even lost Max. I lost Max. And what are we going, when we, what we are doing now? Oh shoot. If I don't upload Lobotomy Corporation's finale before this, I just spoiled Max's death. I hope no one was attached to Max. Don't worry, I don't think enough people are watching that series to be concerned. I, I haven't commented on that much, but... It's kind of disappointing to see this series in a library of Runia and Lobotomy Corporation, among many others, just aren't performing well. And many people are going, what are you doing? Make a second channel. Put all the stuff you actually are do what you enjoy and then put the Roblox stuff somewhere else. I mean, I do enjoy a lot of the Roblox, but I, I, I see what they're saying. On the other hand, you know, maybe this isn't working out for the channel, but I can't be bothered to go through all those steps. What? Maybe if this was a business and I was making my whole livelihood from this or whatever. But honestly, if people don't enjoy this, not really my problem. <laughs> I'm just gonna play the game. No one's complaining about me playing this, in case you're wondering. I'm just commenting on in case I was thinking of my thoughts. There's more people just advising me like, 
hey, you shouldn't do this, you should do this somewhere else. But, yeah, if people don't enjoy this, well, it doesn't really matter to me. Well, I mean, it matters a little, but it doesn't matter for me enough to go out of my way right now. Maybe eventually I'll be more worried about it. Anyway, enough of delaying the gameplay. And what we are doing now isn't any less ruthless. For the sake of retrieving the light, we are killing people yet again and turning them to books. So that's the purpose? Or is the when like each individual person's the light? And by capturing them, turning the books, we're harvesting their light? Or is it more of someone specific has the light? I'm assuming random people, since the goal was to put light in everyone. Inflicting pain on others in favor of information. It's as if comfort can only be achieved through the agony of others in this city. Like I said, you saw it. You're up right at heart. Though I don't really get why anyone would bother to care so much for others. I think the opposite, actually. Someone else must have benefited from all the trouble I went through. So it's only fair I get to make use of the conveniences others suffered for. It's very much like you to think so. Does that kind of mindset truly ease your mind? Nothing I can do about it anyway. That's that and this is us. Still, I don't want to say that your way of thinking is outright wrong or anything. You're right, way too right. That doesn't vibe too well with me or the city. You must be thinking I'm pathetic like others do. You know, this the, this difference between our mindset might be what let you do things I wouldn't dream of doing. To shake up the whole system, you need perseverance more than anything. Who knows, you might actually create uh, technologies that don't need sacrificing others to run someday, right? I've already endured for so long, you're telling me to stay silent yet again. Just this once, man. Just one more time. Things could turn out differently this time around. Besides, some things did improve over your time, Lobotomy Corp, right? That is true. I can at least be with my former employees who've always been loyal to me. Yeah, what did I tell you? There's one improvement at least. Change up stuff one at a time like that and you can make a huge difference eventually. Don't force me to do the same though, since I'm not up for that. You're quite the foolhardy individual, aren't you? But you do have a point, Roland. Some things have gotten better, as you've said. I will try to persevere as long as there are improvements to be made. Can I leave you my share of persevering too? I suppose I'll have to consider that. See, you're just too nice. Angela would have instantly shut me down with a nonsense. It turns out conversing with you wasn't all too unpleasant after all. Yep, I have my charm, you see. Let's drop the courtesy while we're at it. I'm more cr comfortable speaking this way. Eh, figured. Cheers, then. It was nice speaking with you. Yeah, suddenly the main area is now somewhat weaker. Since this has one extra character, but he's got triple negatives. Of course, they aren't pure negative. Let's see. One rhythm at the start of each scene. Successful attack, random character gains one. Okay. Interesting. And then the musical addiction. Interesting. Offensive dice gain one to three power, but off you your defense. You're, you become one-sided. Okay. And music. All characters deal more damage, but suffer more uh, stamina damage. But if you kill someone, shoot, that's actually pretty useful in the right context. Mika. Mika? Honestly? I'm going to do something I didn't think I was going to do. I think I'm going to put all of you to the side. I'm going to have you equip the old books they were using. Let's see, it would be around here, I imagine. But yeah, I'm going to put all of you to the side. And then I imagine the other books that were being used. Wait, what? Thought I saw something. Must be the one that was equipped. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. You here. Darn it! Don't move me up! I was equipping stuff. You. And then over here we have... Is there a way... 
no, okay, so that's what enhanced pages are, okay. Anyway, it's probably in this category. No, okay, it's in ghost though. Here you go. Anyway. Net Zack. We do need to switch you out. Wait, wait, wait. For the ones that I have equipped. Yeah, unfavorite. 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 One trick I could probably use is where are all of you R really you're not going to make this easy of course you can't make this easy but we have a lulu oh this is going to be delightful to find okay let's grab all of you now olga you're right here set favorite you are a oh you're both olgas no, you're a random low tier fixer. Zway. Apparently, you're higher up in the. or not. Where are you? There you are. And now I just need to find you, Lulu. Lulu. Okay, now that I've done that, th this process could very much be made easier. Anyway, now each of you can equip. Here you go, nut. And then you're going to want this one. And you're going to become Oscar. Here we go. The book of Por Porcubus? I guess that name makes a little sense considering what it does in its lore. Some employees would wait for their turn to visit that thing's containment all day. There's nothing stacked about seeing a line of headless corpses, though. It's not as violent as others, and I heard it can give unimaginable happiness, too. So, I'm assuming you've a- th yep. On hit, thorns. You're also immune to range. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, if someone hits you, they gain two- Positive emotion coins. Then what's pages of pleasure? I don't understand. Any, we'll, we'll figure that out, I guess. For now, everyone, don't hold back against this thing. The sooner we kill it, the better. Oh, I see. If we give it the chance, it's going to try ruining us. That makes sense. Well, we better not give it the chance, then. Here we go, everyone. Begin assaulting it. Ouch. So I imagine some of you now have its nonsense, yeah. Rather not use it though, sorry. I hope that doesn't disappoint you. Anyway. Shoot, all of you are fragile right now. Well, no choice, you have to do weaker attacks then. Okay, a game of trust. So what are our options here? 
successful pierce. Which one of you is the super piercer? Looks like it's you. Haru. Oh yeah, you're a super piercer. Okay, well... Actually, don't do that. Instead, overpower it. One rampage versus two overpower. One sounds drastically smarter than the other. Here we go, everyone! A game of trust. Sorry, I don't feel like trusting you. Okay. Ouch. Echoes from beyond. Let's go. I think I just... Yep, I staggered it. Which means... I could use this attack on it, I suppose. And then over here... I like to burn enemies, so let's burn this thing alive. And then as for you... Why don't you rampage and use this? Here we go. No mercy. Like, we didn't have to use all those things on it, but I just wanted to see this thing die painfully. You don't want to deal with something like that again. I have bad news for you, we just got its cards. It's never leaving you. You don't reek of alcohol today. What's up? Because I didn't drink. I wanted to stay sober today. Hmm. What's gotten into you? Look pretty sad to miss out on any chance to drink. Whoops, was it that noticeable? Well, today is a special day. The day I died and perished from this world. Really? What's the date again? It's hard to keep track of time staying here. The date doesn't really matter. It's this exact moment I'm commemorating. I learned all about life and death of Giovanni, my first incarnation. That's what you meant, huh? Do you think the followers of Church of Gears are a bunch of fools, Roland? You know they're desperate to find meeting in their lives going as far as joining a cult? Counterpoint? Their religion's right. Like... We, you, you got, like, proof that their religion is at least doing something. You technically don't have proof that that's actually them, but it seemed to have some sort of awareness, that gear. So, I, I think there's a reasonable possibility their religion's actually right. So, is it a cult, or is it just reality? Anyway. <laughs> nah, I don't think they're stupid. They're just pitiful. Of course, when you get down to it, it's probably not an actual... <laughs> it's probably not a true deity set or anything. It's probably more of a abnormality given power to convert people. But hey, if they are enjoying it, I think that's really all that matters, right? If everyone's happy being a gear, that's what I think too. I grew up without anyone to call parents. Oof. Same here. I was raised by my grandmother. Had a rough childhood. I was born a nest. Got left in orphanage without even knowing who my parents were. There is a lot of oof here. I died already if it was the back streets. I was lucky to be born in a nest and lucky to have lost my parents so early. What nest was it? K Corpse. That's one of the more decent ones I've heard. Yep, my life was pretty smooth, slightly more unfortunate than others, and slightly luckier than others. I never really starved or got bullied. It was a sheltered life, free from any outside influence. All I did was breathe in the, that shelter without meaning. I thought it was a natural thing to do. Everyone else had the same expression as mine. In the school or on the streets, all the people in us made the same face. Anyway. Lost focus, spacing out and staring out into empty spaces. Mm-hmm. You're spot on. I figured life just comes and goes. Kept living a mon mono monotonous life until I met someone with a face I'd never seen before. 
Uh huh. I'm guessing you met your first love? I suppose. It was Giovanni's first love, to be exact. She was giving a passionate speech in the middle of the street, even though no one paid attention to her. I barely understood what she was saying, actually. All I could think about was how brilliant a lively person could be. Love at first sight, eh? She went on how she'll change this world and its people, and she was looking for recruits to join her cause. Isn't funny? Who in the nest would want to give up their comfortable life for research like that, really? Yet you did. True? Maybe she went out in the street expecting to run into someone like Giovanni. Her name is Carmen. Carmen, huh? Whenever I saw Carmen brimming with joy and pride for her cause, I felt alive too. I wanted to save her forever. Though she probably just saw me as a good friend or colleague and nothing more. Ah, heart-wrenching agony of unrequited love. It didn't matter to me that much. I was content with living on like that, but that tra then tragedy befalls the research team, right? Yep, slowly. Progress for research stagnated. Carmen gradually lost her liveliness. A kid named Enoch died during an experiment. As if something within her snapped. I wanted to cheer her up somehow, but seeing Carmen's lethargic face scared me so much. It was like I was erased. And then her life ended soon after that. That sure sounds tragic. Must have shocked you. I could take it somewhat well. I was actually pretty calm about it. I thought even the person who is more alive than anyone could meet such an early miserable end. I decided to stay in the laboratory, the laboratory to help with completing the research Carmen started. Her colleagues were still there. They didn't lose help, hope just yet. Then one day, they said we might be able to save Carmen. A tempting offer, wasn't it? It was, and I'm guessing it came at a price. It was a risky experiment. The subject could slip into a permanent coma if it went wrong. No was willing to participate, so I volunteered to be the subject. Carmen coming back would have been the ideal outcome, but you didn't fail and I ended up sleeping forever. I was okay with that. In a world about Carmen, I lost my light anyway. So I can understand people taking desperate measures to find meaning in their lives, like the Church of Gears we recently saw. I participated in an experiment that could get me killed for a similar reason. Its result was a failure, huh? Yep, then I was given a second life. Woke up in the lobotomy corp as net sack. Even though I'd already abandoned all attachment to life before I died, in the midst of confusion, I could hear a nostalgic voice. It told me to try and live on. After all those twists and turns, I finally got here, now with the fearlessness to keep on living. That's a commend commendable little spirit nets. And now I want to actually live, rather than just barely exist while doing nothing but breathe. If I get a chance to, that is. At least the message of the game seems to be the importance of actually trying to enjoy your life. Like, at least I think that's what I'm getting from the game, right? The current vibes. Bad things can happen any moment. Bad things are common. So make the most of it while you can. Let's see. Hopefully, these characters actually get to do it. Though this game seems a little too bleak to let everyone get a happy ending. The world's bigger than I expected, and it has lots of hideous sides, but there is certainly beauty to be found. Okay, so around this point in the game, I think I can say the story here is a little more compelling than Lobotomy Corporation. I think with some tinkering, Lobotomy Corporation could hold up a little better. And, like, Lobotomy Corporation, at its core, the concept is pretty neat. But... When they were hitting me with the whole things about, oh yeah, everyone's doing their... was dying or whatever. I don't know, I, I wasn't feeling it at the time. Maybe... I don't know. At this, I'm feeling it a lot more. Let's see. World's bigger than I expected, lots of hideous sides, certainly pity you found. I guess your drinking habit was a coping mechanism to get you through each day. Pretty much. And by the way, in case you're wondering, uh, there are good and bad coping mechanisms. Alcoholism is a bad coping mechanism. If you'd like to know what a... Okay, in any coping mechanism, if you take it too far, can be bad. Moderation is key for many things. Chances are, if you just have a small amount of alcohol, fine. You have way too much. Oh boy. Some people have other coping mechanisms like spending money. 
Uh, not like just for the heck of it, but you know, get yourself a new outfit or if you're particularly wealthy, a new set of jewelry. Or maybe there's an activity you enjoy that costs money. Like, I don't know, you like golf, so you go to a golf course. Whatever. Or maybe something a little less fancy and just get yourself some ice cream. All those things, if they go too far, you know, eating too much ice cream, too much alcohol, they can all become bad. But, and here you've met Zaku clearly started trying to cope with bad methods and then just kind of escalated over time. Anyway, same for me. I feel a drink now, shall we? I'm all for it. Cheers for today. Level 4. Let's see. On a successful attack, inflict one trill to the target. Against targets with three trill, deal bonus damage. Okay. Dice power plus one. Reduce max stagger resist by 50. Ooh. When hit, recover stagger resist. The character isn't staggered. Wait, why is that bad? That's pretty good. Anyway. Okay. Looks like they go up to level 5. I should go for one of these teams. Let's go maybe this team. The Forsaken Murderer. First things first, though. We need to equip all of you, don't we? Over here. No, no, no. Need to get your old builds. Let's see. You were Lulu. You. I'll just assume you were the fixer. And you, I'll assume, were or was Olga. Over here. Let's give you. I'm trying to think. Who do I want to give you? Preferably someone of speed. You. Let's just go... What is it? Right, I want... Limited. One, two, three. And then do I have any high quantities of these? We'll go, I'll end you, and then... Trans Pierce. Okay. There we go. And now that we've done that, let's see, what's next? Right. You all. Yeah, right now you're all using the default loadout. Let's fix that. Equip. 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 And now, I think it's your turn, assistant. But what high tier page can they give you? Because Mars, Salvador, and Oscar are like my best pages. Using U3, I could probably acquire something nice. I guess it's you. Okay, you're possible enough, I suppose. I'll need to favorite you and unfavorite certain pages. Just really it's an old guy to scratch that. <laughs> That's actually funny. Okay. Um Right. Let's first get you your special little benefits. 
Honestly, an early paralysis isn't bad. It can really mess up enemies. But they have to do their minimum. You know what? Sure. It's just a one cost, so let's go for it. Okay, so Pierce Dice Power. I don't think I would benefit much from that, though. Okay. Where is Zulu? Zulu? Dino? And then we'll wrap this up. Let's see. We have room for a three cost. You know what? Let's go crazy. Plus two power for the first scene? Okay. Why not? Let's just go crazy with it. Okay, so now all you need is attacks. And since you're part of the main group, we can give you something a little more powerful. These are fairly useful, I would say. For this is a heavy hitter. Oh? That can lower its own cost. Maybe I should use that. Also gives paralysis. That's appreciated. Okay, sure. And then beyond that, what else am I looking for? Great, I'm looking for two costs now. Let's go with one that draws. If I have one. Do I have a... I should, somewhere. Oh, that draws. Sparkling. And then that already I know draws. Shoot, I don't have a lot of flash of sun up. Let's get more. This is one of my favorites, personally. Here we go. I want to take on that boss, but first let's handle this. Taste the sweepers never cease to surprise. So they look like robots. Beta, the carnival. Always disgusting in new ways. Never realized there could be so many flavors to fill. Reminded of the taste of fixer we ate. Was soft, was happy. Hard to eat, but tasty. Produced good silk. Was taste was satisfied. Let's feed on sweepers for another week. Because we must spin more silk. Index gave such prescript. So alpha, beta, and genma. Gamma. What if mother is sweepers? We hunt and feast, must weave cloth. No? Wondered if we have plans when sweepers start retaliation. If they all seriously try to eat us, we must have limits. Sweepers are quiet for now. Reasons unknown. Interesting. Index has his gaze on us. We only make fabric as prescript pointed. No other prescript from Index? None? No need for worry. Index is a good friend? Hello, everyone. Greetings. You all look terrifying. Greetings. Messenger? Greetings. Yes, thank you for the greetings. I'm here to give you guys a new prescript. Head to library. Have other paper for you. This is no prescript. Great, this is an invitation to library. It's needed according to the prescript. Must go to library? We must eat sweepers and weave fabric. Can we eat messenger? No. Please do not eat the messenger. They will kill you. They look stronger than you. Will be tasty? Would produce good silk? No, I'm afraid not. You must guy you must you guys must obey the prescripts, remember? You want to continue your silk making business, no? If you don't follow your prescripts, the proxies will visit you. Prescript come first for us? If we break order, Prescript will not forgive. Depth's library will have new ingredient to make silk with. Since I'm done delivering the Prescript, I'll be on my way. I'm sure you guys are already aware, 
but don't forget what happens if you fail to carry out any prescript. Sorry to interrupt, but we, we're here to receive our fabric. Hello there. It's the Korokumo clan. A thumb subsidiary, right? Greetings, Korokumo clan. We'll take the Nuvovo fabric requested by the thumb. The payment is in that briefcase. By the by, I'm certain a finger bow bell is about to begin. This is a rather frivolous behavior from the index. What should we do, Dame? He may be a simple messenger, but he's still an executive member of the index. It will be difficult to take him out on our own. It will be a valuable opportunity nonetheless, especially since the messenger is alone now. Sure, all I do is deliver words from above. The index is the same as always. Now then, why don't we go our own ways if we're done with all the business here? Carnival can visit the library. We can take our fabric, and Mr. Messenger probably has places to be. Is that organization producing fabric? Yep, quality fabric is a rarity. Traders, tailors are just as important as syndicates and fixers. Those guys seem to be operating underground. Looks like they're eating people to make silk. Similar to spiders, basically. What's so special about it? Isn't it just the same old piece of cloth? Nah. That's not your ordinary textile, ma'am. You still have a lot to learn. There's a good reason a lot of hot sauce in the city are dressed in normal looking attire and not plate armor. You've probably seen it from some guests, but those aren't just regular clothes. A high quality fabric can provide just as much protection as an augmentation procedure. Not even you could buy top of the line fabric sometimes. That's interesting. Though, ultimately money can buy it since if money can't buy it, usually it's because they want something else. Money can buy that if you have enough. It's rare for money to truly not be able to solve a matter if you simply have enough. The issue is truly having enough in those niche cases where you need an insane amount. Some can only be earned by joining memberships of workshops or tailors. Some things in the world are entangled in a web of interests like fame and stuff which can't be cleared with money alone. Sorry to feel dazed with all this information. Well, that's enough of that. Why don't we close our eyes for a moment, make a wish. And you aren't helping at all? We gotta pray that the prescripts don't target the library. Okay, I can close my eyes and make a wish. Uh, are you actually playing along? I wish we could stop babbling nonsense. Uh, anyway. Things get really messy once a prescript points to the library. Really? Are they actually tough? The index, one of the five fingers, is going to be after us. They'll do anything to keep coming for our butts. The index? That's one of the five giant syndicates that rule over the back streets. They're called as such because they literally have all of the back streets in their hands. It's simple, really. Anyway, the five fingers have enough power and influence to rival the wings, so nothing good will come from opposing them. Makes sense. And the index is like a group of zealots. They obsess with the orders they call prescripts. For them, prescripts are something they must follow. Yep. Prescripts must be carried out, as they say. And we have a subsidiary, the thumb butting in, too. Let's hope things don't escalate too much. Or may visit, we'll simply do our best to receive them. Hungry. Want? Compelling. Can spin new kind of thread. Excited? Greetings, guests. Greetings. 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 Okay to eat. Could produce wonderful silk. We'll make pretty blue silk. Seems she would taste even worse than sweepers. True? Does not seem human. Want to eat something tasty now. Tired of disgusting food. Uh, yeah. I I'm Angela. Director and librarian. May you find your books. Such short greeting. So interesting too. Disappeared. Okay, nice and simple. Still can't bring her fourth ally in. That's disappointing. Well, let's soften them all up and then maybe give them some chances to beat us up. In fact, you know what? I want to experiment. Let's use this. Just have them randomize targets. Oh my gosh, you all are brutal. You just focused on Gamma and immediately just kind of broke. Oh my gosh! Do you all have no mercy? You all just... You killed Gamma in one turn! By pure chance, I might add. Okay, well, what are you going to do now? 
that Gamma's dead. This is probably more entertaining. Okay. Sure, let's grab this and give it to Yusad. Yusad. Boom. Is there a way to speed this up? I don't think so. Cannot be up, unfinished work. Got ahead of yourself, got done, must be cautious. Cannot leave cloth anymore. Sad, longtime colleague has died. Well, you all know the drill. Finish it off. Did not taste too good. Okay. Well, we received the carnival. Now what? Oh boy. More items to give everyone. They... All gave books of the carnival. Exhausted? Tired? Want rest? Hungry? Want out? Want amputated? Bones melt? Flesh explode? Won't die? Sorry ma'am, I'll stop here. So, what do you think will happen next? Looking at how things are going, we're pretty much guaranteed to confront at least one of the fingers. I've already heard of them index, any one of them is going to be a huge pain in the butt. I look forward to it. Oh, of course you do. I'm the one doing all the fighting and bleeding for you. I know this goes without saying, but I am thankful for what you do. Sure you are, ma'am. In any case, let's give it our best shot. All I'm saying is Angela better pay us back. Todd and Malku. Okay. Well, everyone, looks like we're transferring gear, and we'll take on... You know what? Should I just go even longer than an hour? Should I just become insane? No, I should not become madness. Honestly, does it matter if these people have loadouts? I mean, maybe later it will, but honestly, I feel like it doesn't matter. That I could just go over to them and empty out their loadouts. That I could just go down here and go, yeah, do any of these have pages? Because I'm just going to empty everything. Like, what's the point of you all having pages, honestly? I can't think of any purpose at all. It's not like you ordinarily use them. So I'd really benefit just by kind of taking away all your gear, right? Let's see, you're a Lulu. In fact, two of your Lulus. You're a Micah, okay. Where's Micah? There you are. Empty, unequip. And then you, you're a Lulu. Yeah, let's unequip you, and you. Empty, empty. There you go. It's not like you needed those. So where were we? Right. You're going to equip this one. You're going to become Mars. And you're going to become this one. Now we're facing the spider. Oh wow, you have four minions. Also, can I kill you? Okay. Target foes have killed an ally. You all target cocooned enemies. Well, my first instinct is to kill the big spider first. Is that an option? No, okay. In that case, let's just, I guess, massacre the weaker ones. Sure, they're going to try to resist, but that won't really matter much. Alright, everyone, you know the drill? Overwhelm them. Preferably killing everyone 
at different or, or at the same time to prevent one person being swarmed. Wow, Rampage, you're underwhelming. Oh wow, you actually got hit. Defense. Okay. Yeah, let's go the defense one. You know what? Crack of Dawn on that one. Flash that one. Then flash this one. And then you'll flash this one too. And then you'll use a regular appetite. Here we go, everyone. Appetite. Come on. One. Two. Three. It's reduced to one health. Fantastic. That one's dead. It's merciless, beloved children. Don't bother. Could have been us hanging up there. So I think we killed two of them. Okay. Everyone, target this employee. By the way, don't actually kill them. Oh boy. You're being targeted. Crack of Dawn. Overpower. Uh, just wondering, what does Cocoon do? It really doesn't matter what you do, you're about to get cocooned. I guess it's just an instant stagger. One, two. One, two. Well, now you just got staggered yourself. Shoot, you got staggered too. Two of my people are staggered right now. Or not. Okay. Well, you're feeling under the weather, aren't you? Well, best way to handle this is to cleave that one, and then spear you. One, two. One, shoot. One, two. Okay, now you're not letting me strike you. That's fine. I'll just kill your spider friends. There we go. Well, that was simple. Now what? I like how quiet and peaceful this room can be. Librarians here seem calm and collected, just like you, Hod. Oh, hey, Roland. They may seem weak and meek, but when they work, they work hard. I rely on them a lot. I'm, li I'm, I'm relying on my librarians quite a bit, too. What are you guys doing anyway, all gathered up here? It doesn't seem like you're sorting books. They're having a meetup of our book discussion club. Pick a book that catches our attention, read it, and talk about it. Not kind of meetups librarians on my floor would like to have. I'm guessing your librarians are kindly joining in with you then, gladly. Yeah, they are. They're helping me out with this more passionately than I expected. I was thinking at least some of them would protest our laziness. Imagine if he has Netzack to join, he'd run away before the meetup could even start. <laughs> Got that right. Totally would. Still, I can tell things have changed from the past. I used to have similar meetups back in Lobotomy Corporation, you see. Really, I suppose? Those weren't the peaceful book club meetings you have now. You're right, I ran a counseling program for my employees. They're always living in fear than abnormalities they're lucky enough to survive. I wanted to be of help somehow. But back then, I imposed myself and my ideas on them too hard. 
If the employees seemed ever so slightly uncomfortable counseling, I'd beat myself up over it, let the wound fester inside of me. I was upset that no one understood my goodwill. Sorry to say this, but past you sounds like a tiring one to deal with. I know, right? I think so, too. Well, at least you two agree. All the things I did to help others weren't really out of goodwill or anything. I was just seeking... Consolation for myself? I wanted forgiveness for the misdeed I committed in my first life. By being helpful to others. Did you get to be a helpful person? No, there's no way I'd actually be of any help with that kind of mindset. I even tried that thing. That thing, huh? The pressure must have been serious you started doing that. Despite everything I tried, I couldn't find demonetization anywhere. I mean, uh, salvation. Yeah, I really have no idea what can get you demonetized and what can. I'm just going to play it safe. Nothing I did could liberate me from the fact that I was a bad person and a sinner. And then you almost had the chance to take that weight off your mind, but Angela foiled that and then. Yeah, that's how it went. Either when Angela was staying her way, I was only thinking about myself. Selfish, wasn't I? This is my one and only chance to finally repent once and for all, but it all came for naught. Silly, I know. I was too naive to realize it then. That you can't just become a good person through a good deed or two. What really matters is the mindset that prompts you to do such deeds, and how you run into that realization. Well, I learned it after talking to my librarians face to face, holding a lot of meetups like this, ironically enough. I carefully suggested having these book clubs meetups too. Like you said, a few librarians didn't like the idea at first, but when I explained why I wanted to hold this meetup and how I felt, they warmed up to it and helped me out of enthusiasm. It wasn't about the method or the action itself. I realized that we should lay out our hearts in the open, let our thoughts confront each other. All's well it ends well. For sure. Maybe Angela looked forward to this outcome? not sure if our prideful Miss Library director had the delicacy to set up a plan so considerate. Mm, I'm gonna have to confront her for real this time. But what exactly? I'll face Angela and let her know what I think. That's going to take some courage. <laughs> You're right, Angela still feels a bit distant and scary to me, but I'll try to approach her nonetheless. And I'll be rooting for, for you from the sidelines and that time comes. You might be... you might end up losing your limbs again things don't go well. Are you gonna be okay with that? From a distance, of course. You're a coward just like me, aren't you? <laughs> Brilliant. Well, hey. Birds of a flutter fog together. Let's both be brave together as cowards. Yeah, thanks for the encouragement there, Mr. Uh... <laughs> Trustworthy. Yeah. I'm glad they're bonding. <laughs> but I, I'm not sure. Would I trust Roland with protecting me? Or would I trust literally anyone else? Okay, emotions are better. Ooh, triple green. Okay. It, maximum value? Oh my gosh, that's brutal. Hit the maximum value and the enemies are ruined. Staggered enemies, you heal. Nice, nice. Enemies lose one power in clashes against the selected librarian. Upon winning a clash, inflict debuffs at a 50% chance. That's really nice. Okay, okay. And now over here. It looks like you're all using those. I guess there's no harm in letting you keep your originals. Just kidding. You're losing it. You're lucky I don't know where Julia is. Oh, I found Julia. They're all empty. Oh, there they are. Maybe it's not a good idea to disarm everyone. I'll leave three teams of people using stuff. I'm just not fond of having a bunch of people using things, especially when their gear is, you know, sort of outdated. And I just realized for uh, Julia there, did I remember to empty it? Where's Julia? Shoot. 
should I lose their page? I might have lost their page. Oh, they're there. I did forget to empty it. There we go. And now, the trio gets new things. So, yeah, I guess the squads that have a full loadout are like this one and this one. Anyway, you... I suppose you all are using default, aren't you? Oh, but I don't want to give you all useful things. I'll just regret it later. That's my compromise. In the meantime... You gain that. You gain Mars. Let's go a little over just to complete the other abnormality. And then we'll do the higher tier stuff later. Fairy Festival! This one! Is- oh my gosh! This is terrifying to look at! With prepared meat as one health, consume it. Okay! That's good to know. Also, if it's low, it kills all of its allies and gains 30 strength. Okay, let's kill you last, then. Oh, never mind. They can't die until the queen dies. In that case, we're killing the queen first, I guess. Burn that monstrosity, please. Okay, everyone, overwhelm the queen. Don't let that queen exist for a continued amount of time. Oh my gosh, these things are kind of annoying. Okay, at least we scored that hit. There we go. We got some significant burns on the queen. You know, four burn. Okay, now all of you are low on energy. Fantastic. By the way, this is not fantastic, in case any of you are wondering. Well, at least this monstrosity is out of energy and now staggered. I'm not sure how much that actually will matter, but... I guess it depends on if we can get some nice attacks going. That was all for our benefit? That one used it to keep its food fresh by caring for them, yeah. Let's rampage, followed by a flash. As for you... Yeah, sure, scratch that monstrosity. Then over here. Yeah, just do a simple spear appetite. Alright, everyone, overwhelm this thing. One, two, three. Ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch. Ouch, ouch. Come on. Keep. Killing this thing. One, two. And now it's gone, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah, let's go with this one. You. And as for the remaining ones, unless they get super overpowered when their queen dies, we can just do this and win. Oh no. You got staggered, that's unfortunate. Yep, it keeps its prey. It still eats its prey while it's fresh. And 
and then you get that, sure. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. Random. One, two. Oh no, you got staggered. You're not staggered, so you beat it up. And now I think you might be dead. Its own minion satiates hunger. It didn't do that. You wouldn't let your guard down. Yeah, I killed the boss so quick it didn't even get to eat its own minions. Probably all in all a plus. Good work, everyone. Cheerful as always, Malku. What are you up to? Oh, hi, Roland. I was just having a training session with the assistant librarians. Seems lively. I guess you're good friends with each other? They were my employees back in Lobotomy Corp. Back then, I could only assist them from the back seat rather than on the field. It's nice to be able to work alongside them this time around. It'd actually be pretty neat to do a Lobotomy Corporation with canonical names from Library of Verunia. Former co-workers, huh? Must be refreshing. Unless the names in this game are randomized. It sure is. I used to push them too hard because of my faulty mindset. But it'll be different this time around. We'll start with things we can do one at a time. Face the past, build the future. I like this quote. It feels like a good way to summarize the essence of history. It's some similar to something I would hear before, too. You ain't wrong, but there are too many people who can actually learn from history these days. The lessons seem obvious, but putting them into action is the difficult part. Isn't that the truth? Of course. No, I won't get into that. I've been thinking about the past a lot. There was a person called Elijah. Is that your first life? Yep. Born and raised in the nest as an ordinary citizen. Went to an ordinary school. I wasn't anyone special. I wasn't richer than most people. Didn't have any special talent in the field. The people in the nest where Elijah lived, they all seemed to have lost folks in life, spacing out and staring at empty spaces. Everyone only saw black and white things. Isn't the nest full of shiny and bright arrays of colors? It's almost an eyesore at times. That's true, but the colors aren't necessary for reading. Beyond that, there's a bit of trouble in my neighborhood. There's already too many uh, black and white things for the eyes to take. It's no use seeing other, col other useless colors. And those, the trouble, well, gave some people a real scare. Hmm, I guess Elijah could see those colors then. Not exactly, but she tried hard to see them. The colors were still there, just not for her eyes. Elijah wanted the others to know about how diverse and brilliant colors are. About how colors are ever changing in free form. Like the mix of two colors can bring out a new brand new color. That's what Elijah thought, I think. It's not like you're talking about someone else, third person. I mean, this is your third life, right? It's pretty much a new person. Or a different person. Yes, I don't really feel like Elijah and I are one and the same. Maybe too much has passed since then. The other librarians probably feel the same. My current life feels more like an extension of that life, um, that Malku from Lobotomy Corp. My time as Elijah feels kind of distant, unfamiliar, even though it was my first life. It's like the memories of someone from the distant past are now a part of me, if you know what I mean. It's nostalgic in the way, a bit sad and stuff. I don't know a whole lot about the reincarnation jazz, but I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, it doesn't feel so bad. It feels good to finally have the time to reflect on myself, looking back at the lives I lived and the history I made. I think we didn't spend enough time looking back. We were all too busy looking forward. And the same goes for Angela, maybe. No one has time to look back. Even now, I'm running straight ahead. But still, looking back at the past can supposedly give a solution for the troubles of the present or worries of the future. I think that's correct. Although, I'm not sure if I can find the solution for the problems we're facing right now. I think I'm getting close to finding the answer for what Angela said to me before about who you were and how you wanted to live. Mm -hmm. I didn't really have what I would call a dream at that time, but things are different now. If I were to dream of what I would do after this, I think I would have wanted to be an architect, maybe. You know, the person who designs buildings and oversees the process of construction until it's finished? 
Huh. I guess great empires weren't built in a day. Of course it wasn't. You had to start with designing the most beautiful exterior that can be created within the functional limitations. That sounds complicated. Do you know Roland? There's this phrase, we shape our buildings, therefore they shape us. It may be too late to change the people who've lived so far, but what influence will the structures of the city have on future residents they grow up? If I were to make a building of colors that will be remembered by everyone, those are thoughts I had. I'm sure you'll do a great job if you get the chance, Malkuf. Sounds like the job would fit you well, too. <laughs> Thanks. Maybe you should reflect on your past like I did, Roland. It'll be a helpful exercise. My eyes are always fixed on the past. Anyway, hope you can realize the dream of becoming an architect. Level up. Fairies care. Gain healing. They're hit three times. Lose health. Oof. Okay. The attacking target already took damage on same scene. Deal damage. Okay, so it's a combo. All librarians except the selected lose 10 health. They regain as much as others lost and gain other stats. Okay. Ripped out. Oh my gosh, that's brutal. Anyway. I'd say- wait, what? Floor of natural sciences, huh? That's the fifth floor we're opening. Its patron librarian is Tifrith. What's with all these weird names? Hello, Tifrith, are you there? Shut it! Eh, eh. I'm standing right in front of you. Where do you think you're looking? What, 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 but you're just, you're just a kid? I'm actually a lot taller than I used to be, you know? Compared to your past self in Lobotomy Corp? No, I mean, compared to my first life, I was an actual kid then. Then it looks like I woke up with an older body this time. So I'm not a baby anymore. So you, you, you should keep that in mind. I'm not a baby. Although, if it actually took all the years I lived into account, I have to look a bit older. Putting that aside, isn't it a bit rude to punch someone you just met in the face? <laughs> Tiffereth, come on. This is giving me flashbacks. Well, it's because you're being such a clumsy dork. What's your names, anyways? Not like I care about knowing your name. Roland. Previously a fixer scraping the bottom of the barrel. Current status? Helping Angela. I suppose you've already met the one's upper layer. Upper layer? I thought I was going up, not down. Right, it would be the lower floors this time. Still, you get what I mean, so just roll with it. Sheesh, aren't you a bit sassy? I'm Tiferous, in charge of the floor of natural sciences. I thought doing science required actual thinking. <laughs> Bro, lad, you can't say that. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yeah, I thought. Oh, no, you don't, you silly little thing. You're pretty brisk for throwing punches, but not as quite as quick as someone I used to know, eh? Stop looking down on me, will you? I heard a lot of stuff about science in my past workplace, you know. I'm probably a lot older than you at actual age, too. What's the point of being older if it doesn't reflect your words and actions, little miss? Hm. How's Angela doing anyway? Curious as always, she almost feels like a child sometimes. I part of you wonders if he was describing the tip room. That's understandable, I suppose. Angela's lived her whole life in a basement, after all. Yeah, said she never even got to see the outside. Guessing you aren't holding some deep-rooted grudge against her like the other librarians? I roughly know what she went through. I thought she was just cruel, but I could see some of the events of the past while I was asleep. I could also see happenings in the present, all the way down to the moment you woke me up. So I can understand Angela somewhat. I'm pretty sure librarians who are still asleep all have a grasp of what's going on as well. Though the idiots in the upper layer, I mean, lower floors, still seem kind of confused. So you agree with Angela's choice? It depends on the final choice we'll make at the end of this. I'm willing to help her out for now, at least. Our primary goal is the same, all things considered. To complete the library? Yep. The light is only truly meaningful if it shines for seven days straight. Boy, is it refreshing to meet an amicable librarian for once. Alright, I'll make sure to bring some picture books next time's a bonus. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I... Oh, wow, two went woken. Yep, this is a bigger department. I like it. 
Anyway, I'm going to put you all on a shelf and forget about you. Because my new favorite is you, Isad. But first, we're going to end the day. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.